Griffin dispatched a 21-year-old female who was ejected during the motor vehicle accident, patient lying 50 feet away from the car. I'm wearing gloves, safety glasses, DSI, inside lock. My skin is safe. Based on dispatch inform information, the mechanism of injury is ejection from motor vehicle, and this is my only patient. First thing, I'm going to request additional EMS backups. Based on mechanism, I'm going to consider the stabilization of this body. My partner is going to hold the patient's this bite. My general impression is 21 years old female who has been ejected from motor vehicle. Ma'am, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh -huh. She only responds to painful stimuli and I'm going to assess any apparent life threat at this time. It appears to be blood on left femur, so I'm going to apply dressing on it and see if this is holding. Can I call again? I will now assess airway, breathing, circulation. There is nothing on her airway, and her, her breathing rate is 20 breaths per minute. Based on that, I'm going to give her 50 milliliters per minute oxygen by non rebreather mask. After that, I'm going to check her pulse. Her pulse is 110 and she's pale with cool temperature. Now I'm going to assess for any major bleeding. There's no other major bleeding except for left femur. It seems to be worthy. I'm going to initiate appropriate shock management, cover with blanket as needed to have regular temperatures. And then I'm going to transfer this patient. Put on seat collar. I'm going to do posterior assessment while, while rolling on to the spine board. So my partner is going to hold patient's spine and carefully rolling the patient on the side. Posterior assessment. And transfer the patient onto the spine board. After I transfer the patient onto the spine board, I will obtain sample history. But she's not conscious and able to talk and no other witness around here, so I will bypass that. But if there was somebody here, I will definitely ask patient's sign and symptom allergies, medication, past medical history, last oral intake, and event prior to call. Secondary assessment. I'm going to do head to toe, head, ear, tuk -tuk. It seems like echo and react to light. Neck, chest, After I inspect chest, I'm going to list the three, three sounds. Abdomen, pelvis, left leg, right leg, skull. I will now check the vital. Breathing rate is 20 times per minute. Pulse. Pulse is still 110. And then blood pressure. Her blood pressure is 130 over 90. Check secondary injuries. No other secondary injuries found. I'm going to reassess this patient and check vital every five minutes until EMS has arrived because she's unstable. 